welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm doing a setup of my Louis Vuitton Agenda MM. I recently changed it for a more summer feel. I changed my dividers and I also changed my dashboard. So I will link in the comments where I get everything from. I know quite a few asked the last time um, in my last video, so I'll make sure I list those links below. All right, so this is dashboard that I made. This is a shaker. I used a few stool to make this. I previously had issues creating a shaker. So I tried and I am pretty happy with the way it came out. I made a big mistake after I made the shaker. I laminated it. I don't know why I did that, but it still shakes, but not as much as it did prior to me using the laminator. So. I know better for next time, do not laminate it because if you can see the sequence, they get stuck to the paper. So this paper that I use is actual laminated, the, um, the sheets that you use to laminate. So um, I am going to make a video on how I made the shaker, but I won't laminate it. So these dividers I made myself. I was trying something new so I made the tabs sort of like triangles and I use the label maker to label the tabs. This was my first time trying it out so it was kind of like a trial and error type of thing. So the first divider is month. So this divider has my monthly calendar. I keep the monthly calendar to list things that are in advance so I can always go back to those dates. I didn't use this for these months because I was using my GM. So you can that's the reason why there's nothing filled in in those months. But I did start to use this for July because it's for summer. So this is my first summer layout. This is for the month of July. And then this is August. The second tab is summer. I showed this part in my previous video where we list all our summer plans, um, our summer vacation, things where we, we want to go. So this part I kept here because this is the planner that I'm using for the summer. So I've added quite a few, few more destinations to this section. And little by little, it will be filled up. The third tab is, well, behind, at the end of the summer section, I have this pocket that came with my file effects planner. So last week when we went on vacation, I just kept cash in this section. It didn't fall out or anything. Okay, so prior to me starting to use this, when I originally set it up, this was just supposed to be a to-do section. I did not intend to have inserts and to use it as a weekly planner, but I eventually put some of my old inserts that I had and now I'm using it as um, a weekly planner. So, there you go. And this is the current week that we're up to. So I kind of like the feel of the smaller planner as my weekly planner. I am still using my GM, but I just leave it at home on my desk. All right, so this section is the finance section. I'm not using it as a finance section because I have way too many information already in my GM to transfer to this planner. So I'm just gonna continue to use this as just an expense tracker. I won't list any bills or anything like that. I'll leave that in my GM. So here I have a paper clip that I use washi tape to keep in place and one here. The reason I have the washi tapes here is to keep them at a certain level at the top of my planner. So it's just for decoration. I like the way it looks. You know, it's a lot cuter with it, right? Like that. So if you are thinking of a way to use your paper clip as top tabs, if you want to put each paper clip on the actual divider, just use some washi tape to keep it in place. All right, so the finance section has, sorry for the light and I'm trying to adjust it. The finance, in, the finance section has the expense tracker. 
I'm not filling it out because I'm not spending any money right now. So that's a good thing. The tab after that is my trackers. Um, I have a squat challenge that I need to start, but I'll eventually start that one day. So this has some squat trackers. It has a weekly habit tracker. I think I also have my water tracker here. But it's hard to use the water trackers that I have because each week I have the little water sticker. So it's kind of like redundant work. I have it here and then I have it during the week. So in this section, I just keep the inserts here just to kind of fill out the planner and make it a little bit um, full because it looks a lot better when it's full. So this section is just the miscellaneous section. I have just some information about um, certain counties we're looking to move to in the future. And here I can jot down some notes if I need to, but no real information. This is not, this planner is not that, you know, full of details as my GM because my GM is my main planner. This, I'm just trying it out for the summer to see if I want to continue with it um, during the fall because I, when I first got this agenda, I tried to use it as my main planner. It didn't really work out too well. So I'm just giving it another shot. So, you know, if I end up not using it, I don't really feel really bad about it. So this is what my agenda looks like up top. This is what I was talking about with having the paper clips as top tabs. These are kind of just randomly placed behind the dividers. They're more for decoration than actually using them to open up to a particular section. And this is my Swarovski pen. And it closes pretty well. So in the pockets, I have a paper clip. I'll list the link in the description. And these are just some cardstock papers that I just glued together. I cut the seahorse out. Um, this is just a ribbon that I made a knot on the actual ring of the agenda. So I'll list the link for everything that I have in the planner. I know some of you asked the last time when I made my last video. So I'll make sure to list the links for all of the items that I have. So if you have any questions, just send me a message below. Um, I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, thank you for watching and don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more pictures and videos of my planners. It's Glam Chevy Plans.